Good morning. Well, as you can see, we're currently in the golf attire. It's been a very long time since I've got out on the course and today is finally the day that I've had the opportunity to get out and enjoy a round of golf. Unfortunately, it's currently raining and we are due, I think it's like 90% rain all day. And so it's gonna be a wet and miserable one, probably very similar to my game, but I am still going to push to play and to get out. We'll have to see what the sentiment is with the rest of the guys because we are in a society today. And so ultimately the captain will have the final say as to whether we go out or not. But we're gonna be playing at a really lovely Parkland course called Woburn. And so it's always a joy and also very difficult um, when we play at Woburn. And so I'm not sure what track we're gonna be playing on because they've got three courses there but it'll be one of them. You may be able to just see in the corner here, we have a couple of boxes. I actually have received this morning a lovely package from Amouage, who are a fragrance house from Amman, and they have sent out, with compliments, their new Opus XV 15 King Blue a scent inspired by the art of surrealism and the unexplored territories of knowledge, true to the ethos of the collection. King Blue is centered around the highest quality of oud silver from the region of Assam, as well as essential deep Mandarin notes reveal a surprising contrast, tailored sophistication and grandeur. I look forward to trying that. That sounds like one of the more luxurious and richer and probably quite acquired tastes. I always find Amouage have some of the most interesting and unique scents and I really enjoy discovering their new fragrances. So of course they've stuck true to, sorry about that. Of course they have stuck true to their classic design with the head of the sword and also the same shape and silhouette that all of their bottles pretty much have. Oh wow, that's like fruity as well. What's that got in it? You can definitely smell the oud in there. That is pure oud. Black currant, pink pepper, sandalwood, oak wood, patchouli, oud silver and leather. Wow, that is really complex. I've actually already got a fragrance on right now. So when you originally spray it, you get this really punchy, fruity, which is obviously the black currant smell really overpowering but in a nice way and then there's a really strong undertone of that leathery oody base note that's going to dry down really nicely and the minute is quite intense the oud is quite intense we'll have to come back to this in five or ten minutes <laughs> see how it dries in also as we're coming into the weekend very fittingly, we have been sent a lovely sparkling white from English brand Chapel Down. And I believe these are based in Kent. Celebrate the English way. Aha, some paperwork. We like paperwork. Ooh, lovely. So enclosed is a bottle of Chapel Down Brut and a tour and tasting experience with two vouchers to the winery Tenderton, Kent. Wow. Amazing. So have two vouchers to go and actually experience and explore Chapel Down, which Lydia will absolutely love to do. So that will be documented over here on the channel in the future. Very cool. Immerse yourself further in the world of English winemaking. We look forward to hosting you at the winery in the heart of the Kent countryside. It's a one hour train journey from central London. So if you guys want to go and visit Chapel Down, then that is quite a convenient um, link. Amazing. Well, I look forward to uh, giving Chapel Down a, a whirl. Guys, that's a very lovely start to the weekend, even though we're not quite at the weekend yet. But before we head to the golf course, I wanted to share with you, as my ongoing partnership with Sky Cinema Club, this week's Sky Original Breaking Point. Based and filmed in the UK, it focuses on two brothers, one who was adopted, that have resentment for one another after the passing of their mother. Interest grows around these two brothers after an unexpected battle over a family occasion catches the eyes of a dance gal. 
The movie takes us through a journey into the world of dance and also unravels this family affair in front of our eyes. Naturally expect lots of music and break dancing throughout and there's really dynamic cinematography which enhances the drama and also the flow of the dancing throughout. The film takes us from Manchester all the way to the centre of London with Team GB and we patiently have to wait and see do they have what it takes to take them to the top in the world's largest dance competition. The film presents itself with very youthful energy, it also has some lessons and teachings about relationships. And with plenty of feel-good moments throughout, it also reminds us that relationships that bring the best out of us are the relationships that are worth fighting for. Also this month on Sky, Dwayne Johnson features in action adventure Black Adam. It's the first ever feature film to explore the story of the DC superhero. Also on the 21st of July premiering on Sky is Babylon. Set in the 1920s Los Angeles, Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie both feature in this film. And finally, don't forget to keep an eye out on Sky's dedicated channels. This month we have Mission Impossible running all the way until the 31st of July. As always, let me know what you've been watching and enjoying on Sky Cinema. I'll leave a link to this month's Sky original trailers in the description box down below. And I look forward to catching up with you next month for another chat on all things Sky Cinema. It's Sunday, it's race day, the British Formula One Grand Prix is just about to kick off and I'm going to be heading there with Qatar Airways and we're going to be spending our time in the Paddock Club which is a really cool space to be at because you get the backstage access to where all the drivers are chilling out and all of their teams. It's nice to see some familiar faces whilst you're walking around. We are also potentially going to get the opportunity to do a hot lap, we're just trying to work out timings for that again may also get an opportunity to do a pit lane walk which will be really cool but before we head out i thought i would just quickly share with you my look for the day it's actually potentially going to rain today but it is quite warm so it's always quite difficult to dress for these occasions but i've decided to go for a full navy look to start off i'm wearing my baluti shadow sneakers i actually worked with baluti um, on the Wednesday at Silverstone, which was a fantastic day. I didn't get an opportunity to document it on my YouTube. However, all of the content is out on Instagram and TikTok. So if you wanna go and check that out, head over to those platforms. I've then gone for a pair of Laura Piana linen trousers. I've got a t-shirt on from Luca Filoni, and this jacket is from Suit Supply. And then I've just chucked on this little necktie from Reese, and I've got my green face day just on. So a casual, Pretty casual look I'd say today. I want to be really comfortable, really excited for the British Grand Prix. I always love this time of year and so we're going to jump in the car. We've got a space to park at the Paddock Club which is really convenient and it should be an awesome race. So let's go. How you doing mate? No worries.
Yeah, yeah, Absolutely yeah. Absolutely love that, man. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Ray. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing. That was so cool. Yeah. You were like this the whole way around with this other car. So cool. That was awesome. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah. 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 Oh, sure. Oh, that was a rich good. Yeah, it was very good. We were like this. those cars to the limits but we just stepped into the paddocks so we're gonna go for a quick walk up and down take a look at the team see what's going on it's quite busy down here today in comparison to what it was like on Wednesday but such a good atmosphere here at the minute well I don't know if I've discussed this yet on the video but Brad Pitt's actually filming a section of a film here today during the race at Silverstone not actually during the official race but I think it's one of the like the test laps he's doing a, a little filming session in and they've actually created a whole team around the film so right in front of us we have the apex team and i believe that this is the formula one team that is the production company essentially that are running the film such a cool thing to be able to witness and watch today and uh we'll be able to see him on track later on so we're just at the bottom end of the paddock we've got the aston martin team garage set up here and then we spin around we've got alfa romeo on the left they're looking extremely sophisticated with the wooden detailing in the interior there Probably one of the nicest setups actually here. And then a bit down the track, you've got McLaren on the right, Brad Pitt's team as you do on the left, Ferrari, and then it goes on. So you're gonna stay up? basically has to fight both the McLarens together, both the Ferraris together, and both the Mercedes together, all on the same with one hand side behind his back. 
Yeah, but we also have the issue with pit stops. It seems we have to be looking at the pit stops very carefully as they've got the two drivers bunched up together. Um, to use, like you say, you have two Mr. McLaren, the two Mercedes, two Ferraris. So they're going to really have to think about that, how they, how they get the drivers in for pit stops. No, that was that one. Okay, so we've just got another cool bit of access here during the race and we're actually going to be going trackside beyond the railing that you're typically behind here at Silverstone and we're going to be situated I believe in a truck and we're going to be getting as close as you can possibly get to the cars as they come up into the corner. It's going to be absolutely epic. This is a real, real unique experience. This is 300 and they're tipping into this really fast right and we're Can wiggling the stick. Can you have brought us somewhere decent? <laughs> <laughs> and we're wiggling the stick like that. Like Carlos Sainz, it was Max Verstappen's example. 